Hello, I'm Matthew Belmont, and welcome to Trailer Reaction Videos. So, this is my Trailer Reaction video to Chippendale Rescue Rangers, the movie coming exclusively on Disney+. Plus. And I thought to myself, hmm, how will that work? And, and I can't wait to see it. I'm, I remember seeing it live at Disney World's Magic Kingdom, the live show. And uh, I remember the voice actors and actresses behind this show as well. And I remember when I was nine years old, I got my, I got, I had a Chippendale Rescue Rangers lunchbox where I came with a thermos. And I had an activity book as a kid. And yes, I enjoyed the cartoon as well. So let's take a look at the movie. And let's see what's it like. Okay. What is this? Ned? By vanity. You look different. Hey, it's no secret I had the CGI surgery done. Oh, oh. my temptation. Oh, love of Jay's got the base of me. I just love it so much. More please. More please. Jim Cummings. Is it possible that two living legends are destined to reunite? I'm thinking reboot. Nobody wants a reboot. Woo-hoo-hoo! Oh, oh, oh. the rescue ranger. You need the sky. <laughs> Indiana Jones. Zipper! Scrooge McDuck! Puppy Jurassic Park. Ah! Seth Rogen. It actually looks like I'm looking right at you. Okay. Look at my eyes. Look at right at your eyes. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that last part was Seth Rogen as uh, some sort of a uh, Viking guard guy from uh, World of Warcraft. And uh, he's going to voice Donkey Kong in the upcoming Mario film. The whole CGI plastic surgery thing. Yeah, I think this is a callback to the Chipmunks as well. And of all the characters in the background, there's like an anime character, a furry uh, Jedi of some sort. They have Indiana Jones supplies. And there's like a mishmash of various characters. One of them is like the head of Fat Cat and... The rest of the body is of other things as well. Huh. Talk about a Frankenstein monster of other creations. And then there was, um, who was again? And then there, but the animation, I think they're trying to capitalize on Tom and Jerry, the movie. I haven't seen that one though. But I hear it's, I hear, I, I hear that it's, it's good. But going back to Chip and Dale, I mean, I also noticed that to, for Monterey Jack, was that Jim Cummings? I mean, Jim Cummings voiced him as well, but he also voiced Fat Cat. I like his voice work in, car in, in later cartoons I saw that he should voice with a voice like that. That would apply for something like Gigan. Showa era Gigan or Final Wars Gigan. That would be awesome. If you have Disney Plus, Give it a watch. And I think this is, I don't think, and also, I also like to point out one thing. There's one episode where the scientist and Zipper the Fly 
had their heads switched, which is a parody of the 1958 film The Fly, and the rescue rangers had to hide out with this boy, and the teacher and the boy has to go to school. And the teacher said, uh, "So what did he do? I saw. So what? So what happened this weekend? I saw a scientist with a fly for a head, with 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 a head that looks like a fly." And the teacher says, "You've been reading too many Spider-Man comics." And then she looked out the window and saw a scientist with Zipper's head, and uh, she said, "Okay, you get an A." And I'm thinking that was funny, but also now. Disney owns Marvel. Oh yeah, let's not forget that. <laughs> and I also like to point out that um, Tress McNeil was a voice of Gadget. And here's a fact: the character gained a cult, a literal cult, in r some parts of Russia, and it's worshipped. Russia. WTF. Okay, okay, I needed that, I needed that, I needed that, I needed that, sorry. So, this is Matthew B. Lamont, saying don't forget to comment down below, like and subscribe, and have a nice day.